if you think environmental rollbacks only affect forests and far wildlife, let me be very clear. The Trump administration's new proposal would strip protections from wetlands that feed more than half of America's drinking water. Yes, the water coming out of your tap. The administration is trying to rewrite the Clean Water Act so that millions of acres of wetlands would no longer be federally protected. These wetlands sit next to streams that only fill after rain or snow, but they carry the bulk of the water flowing into major rivers and municipal systems. If you've ever lived through a flood, if you drink water, if you enjoy not having petrochemicals dumped upstream, this is your issue. Wetlands are not decorative. They store carbon. They protect communities from storm surges. They filter toxins before they reach our faucets. And they are home to species like the Florida panther and the whooping crane, which have survived everything except deregulation. This proposal would put up to 55 million acres at risk. That's the size of Utah. Developers love it. Chemical manufacturers love it. Farm lobbyists love it. Home builders love it. Everyone who depends on safe water, clean air, and functional ecosystems, not so much. Historically, every time the federal government weakened water protections, the consequences were catastrophic. The Clean Water Act was passed in 1972 because the country hit a breaking point. Today's rollback would take us backwards more than 50 years, right back into the era that created the crisis in the first place. So yes, when the administration tells you they want clean air and clean water, but their policies do not, or their policies do the opposite, pay attention. Deregulation is never neutral. Somebody always pays the price, and it's never the people writing the rules, it's the public. It's the land. It's the water we all depend on. If you want the full breakdown and the context they hope you never read, meet me on Substack. That's where I take the gloves off and walk you through the deeper analysis. The link is in my bio.